Okay, I'm gonna go over equipment that you will need for drawing and drafting. I'll make a separate video just on the drafting table and the parallel rule itself. But right now, I'm just gonna go over what you will need for drafting and drawing. In my opinion, there are three categories uh, for drafting and drawing. One of, them, one of them is to measure, is a measuring instrument. The second, your, your drawing and drafting equipment. And third is your cutting and model making equipment. The first equipment, the measuring equipment, is the scale. And the one that we will use in class is the architect scale. And this is probably the most common size, which is the 12 inch and it's, and it's three sided. There are metric scale and the engineering scale. We're not gonna use them, so don't buy these for the class. It's good to have, it's not used for the class. So remember to buy the architect's scale. The second category of the equipment, which is the drawing equipment, uh, uh, first and foremost are your lead holders. These are lead holders that takes two millimeter lead. Uh, this is a pretty common one. You can pretty much find them anywhere. This is a Cornor, it's Italian. Uh, I have two of them. This is another brand, Corndash, which is Swiss. These are actually my favorite ones. Leads, they're also different brands as well. This turquoise brand, there are Staller Mars, and this one is Fiber Castle. These are all graphite leads. Make sure that you're only getting graphite and not lead for plastic. And the way to find out whether you're getting plastic lead or graphite, the plastic lead has a prefix starts with an E. So don't get the one that starts with an E. Make sure that you're getting lead that are graphite. You're gonna need triangles. So there are three types of triangles that you're gonna need. A 45 degree triangle, a 30, 60 triangle, and an adjustable triangle. There is a separate video out uh, just to show you how to use these triangles. Comes in different sizes. I like this size, this is about 10 inches. They also, ones that are much longer. They're a little bit harder to move around. So I recommend something that is around 10 to 12 inches. Before I go on, I wanna share with you a few very important things that will preserve your equipment and your drafting and drawing tools. Number one, never use your scale as a drawing straight edge. Number two, never use your scale and your triangle and your parallel rule as a cutting straight edge. Never, ever, never, ever. Never, ever, never, ever. And number three, Never use your drawing surface as a cutting surface. Always use a cutting mat when you are using this X-Acto blade. lead pointer where you can sharpen the leads. Uh, there is a separate video that shows you how to use this equipment and how to draw straight lines. To erase your lines, you're gonna need an eraser. This is a Sattler Mars white eraser, a erasing shield, this is stainless steel with these cutouts, and a brush. So never use your hand or blow on it, use a brush. So that pretty much comprises of all the equipment for drafting, which you will need right away. Um, the third category of equipment that is not for this class, but is going to be needed for studio as well as making a model making. This is a cutting board I have just for demonstrations. And this is a small size. You're going to need something a lot bigger, I believe like a 24 by 36 or something. You're gonna need a metal straight edge. This is a 24 inch metal straight edge. Trying to get one with a rubber or a cork back so then they won't slip when you cut. And you're gonna need an X-Acto blade. So this is a X-Acto blade. This one just have a rubber handle on it. And the blades that you're gonna use 
is number 11 blades. Forget the box, it's more cost effective. And there are many types of glue to use, but this is probably the most common, this is Elmer's white glue. This is a really great general purpose glue. For drawing and sketching, you will need pencils and pens. Uh, pencil comes in different brands as well. This is that turquoise brand again. This is a Tombro. I prefer regular pencils than using the lead holder. It just feels more natural to me. So I would recommend using regular pencils for sketching and drawing. In terms of pens, there are many, many brands out there. Regarding pens for sketching, there's, in my opinion, there's two things to look for. Number one, make sure that they are permanent ink. There are pens out there, they're not permanent ink, believe it or not. And second, get two pens. One of them that can do very fine lines and the other one that can do a much more bolder, heavier line. My preference and my go-to for a very long time are these two. This is a Pilot Razor 0.2 and this is a Pentel Sign Pen. So you can see the tip of this thing. It's, it's much thicker and this one is much thinner. It's almost like a micro liner. Again, there are others. I have used these, um, the Statler Mars. We, these are really precision uh, pens. And recently I've got into brush pens. They resemble a almost like a paintbrush. It's, it's kind of a different look for sketching. The paper that we will use for this course, there's two types of paper. There's tracing paper, get one 12 inch and one 18. And there are vellums that you're gonna use. These are sheets of vellum. This is eight and a half by 11. 11 by 17. It also comes in rolls of vellum. I recommend getting a roll of 24 inches. It's just more economical and, you can, and then you can cut them to size rather than cheap. These are a lot more expensive because they are already pre-cut. And you're gonna need tape to tape down your paper. You can use drafting dots or drafting tape or artist tape. This is artist tape. Don't use masking tape because adhesive is stronger. It might lift, it might actually rip the paper. So just remember to use the proper types of tape. Sketchbooks you will also need for this class as well for studio. Sketchbook comes in different sizes. This is a small little pocket sketchbook that I have. This is my go-to these days. I put it in my bag. It's very thin, relatively small. It is a five by eight. So this is something relatively similar in size. This is an A4 size, so it's great. And of course the paper also comes in different grade. Um, this is pretty much for general purpose type of sketching. There are obviously there are finer types of paper and then there are the sketchbook with cheaper paper stock. And you can go up into much larger type of paper size, this is a 14 by 17. And some of the tools that you may want to get that is very helpful for drawing and drafting. And they are, and they are templates. Templates such as circle templates, so you can actually draw perfect circles. Instead of using a compass, it comes in large and small. As well as, this is an interesting template. This is a bathroom template. So you can literally draw all your lavatory, your sinks, and um, anything that is in the bathroom to scale. So it comes in quarter inch, eighth inch, and other types of scale. So this is actually a very useful, a very useful template. This is another type of template. You can, you can draw the door swings and circle templates in there as well, and, and certain type of symbols. It's very useful to have. One last piece of equipment that is useful to have, which is a flexible curve. So this is a good, good one to have. For drawing and sketching with pencil, in terms of erasing, there are two types of eraser that I recommend. This is an art gum and this is a knead eraser. I would not recommend using the Statler Mars 
point. There you have it. There are other videos that I've made to cover how to use some of this equipment. This is just an introduction to show you all the equipment that you will need for this class as well as for studio.